it's the next day and as y'all can see it's raining we didn't really have too many bad storms last night we had a few cracks of thunder and that was about it a little bit of wind but it passed pretty quickly i think middle tennessee had some pretty rough storms i think there was actually some tornadoes or at least one so um glad we didn't get any of that i hope everybody's okay today and i'm coming out to check the greenhouse probably gonna have to turn the stove on tonight because i think it's gonna be 30 and we just haven't had any sun today we're really catching up on our rain though where we really needed it oh i just noticed something my raindrop echeveria it's getting a bloom i don't know that it's ever bloomed while i've had it super cool Oh gosh, that's going to be beautiful. My Bougainvillea has a gorgeous bloom too. Look at that. So vibrant. Well guys, I think I'm headed in. I went out for a little walk earlier and I got soaking wet because it was like that misty rain. It was just kind of blowing in on me. And hopefully it will clear up so I can go head out to go birding this week. I'm really excited about going to do that. I've got a place I'm going to go gonna be on the lake somewhere and I'm gonna take you guys along hopefully I'll have some neat little finds I'm headed in to go make some chicken alfredo the guys favorite haven't had it in a while I have to make the chicken alfredo sauce I don't buy the stuff because it has egg in it and Seth has an allergy to egg and so what I make is eggless and they love it good afternoon it is Monday and it is cold I had planned on going out exploring, adventuring, naturing, birding, whatever you want to call it. And I didn't make it out this morning like I wanted to. It was so cold. We were in the 30s, low 30s, and I just kept putting it off because I was just sitting in front of the fire and doing stuff around the house. And I really decided to want to go. So it's 2 o'clock now, and we're at 41. So it's really not warmed up a lot. I don't know how long I'll stay out. And I'm not going to the place I was originally going to. I may wait a day or two because it is supposed to get in the 50s. And that would be a little more ideal for the place I'm wanting to go. But I'm headed to the lake to see what I can find over there. I've got my camera that has my long lens on it. So let's go do this. Well, I made it. Literally, it was like a two-minute drive. Um... Yeah, I'll show you guys the view. I got mountain views, but over here you got the lake, which is really pretty. Yep, that's one reason why property taxes and property is pretty expensive where I live. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is Tuesday here and it's kind of chilly still. It is 47. I think we're at about 2.30 maybe, 2.30, 3 o'clock. I've been kind of piddling around doing chores around the house and also went out for a walk earlier and I saw a deer outside and I tried to get a good picture of it. I didn't have this camera with me so I couldn't really get a video but I did get a few pictures and I'll show you guys. And I'm fixing to take my camera out and just going to do a little bit of photography. So I'll take this with you and show you some of the pictures that I get outside. It is a, like I said, a December day. We'll see what kind of things are still out there living that I can find. We'll see if there's any life out there among the plants and nature. Let, let's go do this. Y'all, I'm still working on my bird feeder station. <laughs> I found some really cool branches and put on this little bird feeder station. 
I thought it'd be some neat places for the birds to land that I could get some photography of them. We'll see if I can get some today. The most bird activity that I get here is in the morning or kind of late afternoon, and that's about it. If I go out here in the pumpkin field, there's kind of a lot of birds down that way. We may walk down there and see if there's any out. That is where the deer was. Thank you. 